Alrighty, so I have an exciting update for you guys on SeaWorld. I mean, sorry, Marineland. Um, I have both good news, bad news. I have some gossip I can and cannot share with you yet. Um, but all I have uh, to say is this is some truly exciting times for Marineland moving forward. And any Canadian that lives in the Canada's Wonderland, Marineland area, that things are about to heat up and I'm truly excited about that. Anyways, for those of you that don't know, uh, we Amusement Insiders were supposed to be here filming the construction update um, for Star Voyager. A, uh, a new flat ride coming to Marineland in 2021. It's actually one of two new flat rides coming to Marineland. Uh, one is a Kitty Drop Tower, a more advanced uh, version of something they already have. And then Star Voyager, the only version of its kind in North America. And uh, everyone at the park is truly excited, excited, sorry, not exciting, excited to launch this new ride in 2021. But there is lots of action going on behind the scenes at Marineland. And um, I can't reveal too much quite yet. Um, but the funny thing is, uh, about a month ago, we were at Marineland and we started noticing a few things around the park that was a little different. And I remember making a specific comment to uh, a couple of my friends and people on the team about what I thought it was. And the funny thing is, uh, my hunch was right. And it looks like exactly what I thought was happening was happening. And uh, we'll be able to discuss this more over the winter. And you should see some sort of action come spring about what's going to happen. Anyways, nonetheless, I'll drop a little hint. Uh, Marineland is in the process of expanding a lot of its land and its... Um, behind the scenes areas um, and they have the new development area which is truly actually becoming a new development area but not in the terms of or the way that you think it is and I can't dive into that too much quite yet. Anyways, Star Voyager, as you can see, electrical and everything has moved along really well. The footings are there, the ride is all there, the German engineers, this is where, oh my god, this is the bad news, and I'm convinced that the health officials for Ontario hate theme parks okay i cannot stand them anymore there's clearly a bias the toronto zoo is open with its rides a uh, lots of things clifton hill is open but when you hear this story about what just happened to marineland you're going to be angered because i am so we were here um there was supposed to be news at around 11 a.m about uh so basically the german engineers were cleared by health officials to come to ontario to build this ride for marineland um, all they had to do was get a COVID test and then quarantine for 14 days. They did exactly that. They got a COVID test. They were all negative. They came to Ontario and they quarantined for 14 days in their hotel. And then they needed to receive clearance to leave the hotel after the 14 days to come build this ride. Well, the day of this being filmed was day 15 and they were supposed to be cleared around 11 a.m. That didn't happen. They were supposed to be cleared around 5 p.m. That didn't happen. And uh, yes, so uh, with the clearance of them coming here to build the ride, it looks like the health officials then reversed it, which makes no sense because they're literally here building a ride. Not going to events, not operating a theme park, literally building an attraction, and the health officials backed out on giving them the green light to build the ride. Not anything ride related. There's everything with the ride is there. Everything's ready to go. The team that works at Marineland was ready to go. Everything was paid for and set up and ready to go. But Ontario's health officials completely dropped the ball. And uh, it's just, at this point, I don't understand how these theme parks and water parks aren't coming together to sue the Ontario Health Board. It's just, it's so plain and clear as day that there's some sort of bias going on. Um, and it truly angers me because this is some exciting times for Marineland. And this isn't even the big exciting news. Nonetheless... Lots of stuff is happening at Marineland. If you are a patron of this park and you're there every day, pay close attention to some of the things going on around the park. Um, but uh, whew, I'm so excited. 2021 is going to be a really good year at Marineland. And uh, we'll be there every day um, documenting some stuff. And uh, we can't wait to come back and actually film the construction uh, for this ride. So for those of you that don't know, we got, went and got a COVID test because we were supposed to be on site with the German engineers filming uh, the actual construction of this ride with some drone shots, some GoPro time lapses, and we're going to do some promotional work for Marineland. 
um, of the ride. And then there was some other stuff that we were supposed to do too. And now that's going to be in spring, but that's okay. Or winter, whatever it ends up being. We're just waiting for the, the, the clearance and the green light, um, from our contact with Marineland. So super excited. Um, this was one of the, our projects that, uh, we're really excited to film and work with. Marineland deserves a ton of positive, um, light and focus, uh, moving forward, especially because honestly, like they are heading down the right path. And it's just so exciting to see an awesome flat ride like this being constructed in North America, especially in times like this. And Marineland's really trying to get this ride up and running for the start of the 2021 season. Um, but so far no luck. Um, but we're very well convinced that that's going to change sometime soon hopefully uh midwinter uh they'll be able to come in and build this ride nonetheless um we got some cool shots of all the stuff even the instructions on how to install one of the heaviest parts of the ride and uh got some cool shots of the entire construction site and then obviously we've dro dropped some um little areas of other developments in the park throughout this video as well so if you've been paying attention we've dropped a little bit of those as well um and yeah, uh, wow, if only you guys knew what's about to happen with this park. Anyways, um, <laughs> oh man, it's it's really exciting. Like even the people that work at the park are super excited. Um, it's just, it's this might be checkmate for the coaster community in, um, in, in Ontario. This is finally you know, competition, finally some fresh coaster blood potentially uh, coming to Ontario and it's going to get really competitive and it's just no one's expecting what potentially is about to happen and it's just, it's awesome. And, uh, you know, we, we've, we went to this park last year, if you guys remember our vlog, and we absolutely thought we were going to hate the park. And it's funny, at the beginning of the vlog, you can hear us tearing apart the park and then out of nowhere, we were just like, wait, everything we heard about this park is not true. Like, it, it's amazing. Like, it was awesome. It has character. The, the customer service is amazing. The employees there are so friendly, by the way. We, this one lady that works at the bear feeding uh, booth is so awesome. Like, we actually have, like, a, a relationship, a friendship with a lot of these employees. And they're just awesome. They all love their job. And it's just they all have history with the park, too. And it's just... It's really awesome. Like, take some time if you're ever at Marineland to connect with some of the employees, and you'll learn a lot. Anyways, hope you enjoyed our footage of this construction project of Star Voyager at Marineland. Thank you so much for watching our video, and uh, yeah, hopefully you have an amazing week, guys. Stay safe. Bye.